Now sometimes you may have fractions or decimals in these equations. What do you think we need to do in order to solve these two equations? Let's say if we have this particular equation, what would you do? Whenever you have fractions, you can make the process a lot easier if you try to clear away all fractions. In the first equation, let's multiply everything by 3. 1 third x times 3 is basically 1x. 1 third times 3 is the same as 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So we just get x. And then 3 times y, that's going to be 3y. And then 6 times 3 is 18. Now, in the second equation, we need to multiply everything by 4 to clear away all fractions. 2 and 4 all go into 4. So 4 times 1 half x, half of 4 is 2, so this is going to be 2x. 4 times a fourth is 1. So 4 times a negative 1 fourth y is negative 1y. And then 4 times 2 is 8. Now anytime x and y are aligned, it's easier to use the elimination method. So to do that, we need to multiply the second equation by 3 so that the y variables will cancel. So I'm going to rewrite the first equation. x plus 3y is equal to 18. In the second one, 2x times 3 is 6x. 3 times negative y, that's negative 3y. And 8 times 3 is 24. If we add them, we can see that the y variables will cancel. x plus 6x is 7x. 18 plus 24 is 42. And 42 divided by 7 is 6. Now that we have the value of x, let's find y. Let's use uh, this equation to do so. So 6 plus 3y is equal to 18. Let's subtract both sides by 6. 18 minus 6 is 12. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So y equals 4. So the solution is 6 comma 4. Now what about this one? Let's say that y is equal to 0.2x plus 0.4. And also 0.3x plus 0.5y. Let's say that's equal to 3.4. What method should we use? Elimination or substitution? Whenever you have y by itself in one of the two equations, substitution is the preferred method. The same is true if you have x by itself. So let's replace y with what it equals, 0.2x plus 0.4. So what we're going to have is uh, 0.3x plus 0.5 times 0.2x plus 0.4 which is equal to 3.4. Now, let's distribute 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 0 0.2. If we multiply those two, it's going to equal 0 0.1. So we have 0.3x plus 0.1x. And then 0 0.5 times 0.4, that's 0 0.2. And all of this is equal to 3.4. Now what I like to do is I like to get rid of the decimals. And because I have one digit to the right of the decimal for each number, I'm going to multiply everything by 10. If I had two digits to the right of each number, I would multiply by 100. So 0.3x times 10 is 3x. 0.1x times 10 is 1x. 0.2 times 10 is 2. 3.4 times 10 is 34. And now let's find the value of x. 3x plus x is 4x. And 34 minus 2 is 32. And now let's divide both sides by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8. So x is equal to 8. So now I'm going to take this value, plug it into the first equation to get the value of y. 
So y is equal to 0 0.2 times 8 plus 0 0.4. 0 0.2 times 8 is 1.6. 1 1.6 plus 4 is 2. So y is equal to 2. So the answer is 2 comma 8.